Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain and how long will Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns air for? Well, I may have an answer for you. We know the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns is airing 17 odd years after the initial airing of Yu-Gi-Oh! Doom Monsters from April 2000 and now Reigns is gonna air May 2017 and there's been a bit of a formula that's been established and I honestly do think that I've pinpointed the exact episode when Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns is going to end and to join me today to discuss this and by the way if we are right I've called it we've called it just just to let you know I'm joking um we I have with me BYG Aigami you're right yeah I'm good so guys if we called it and we got the correct number comment on this video three years after Vrains is over and speaking about three years we do know the initial gap on how long Vrains is going to last for uh, last for but we don't know that precise number and Dimsy might have pinpointed it now do you want to talk about that so yeah, let's talk about the actual episode number. Um, Duel Monsters was 224 episodes and that lasted a couple of years. But how many episodes was GX? GX was 180. So if you think of it like this, if you do the addition, so by the end of GX, we had 404 episodes. And then by the end of 5Ds, 5Ds was how many episodes? 154. So that's around, yeah, that's around 558 if you do the maths. And of course, Zexel was 146 from my memory. So by the end of Zexel, we had 704 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! cumulatively, which was spanning from Doom Monsters all the way to whatever concurrent installment of the franchise was airing at that point. So Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, on episode 73 for Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, there was a big celebration for the 777th episode which was airing on TV Tokyo. Now, now the reason why this was very important was because of the fact that the number 7 is very very important for the brand that is TV Tokyo due to the fact that the mascot was the number seven so there's even a little special card which is one of the only action cards i believe in existence but i don't know if it's playable or not and that is in the ocg but by the end of arc five it lasted for 148 episodes long which gave us a cumulative total of 852 now Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns is going to last for around 3 years, which is the cycle that we've acc accustomed ourselves to. For example, Arc 5, 3 years, Zexel, 3 years, 5Ds, 3 years, approximately 3 years where each of them might be increased by a few weeks here and there. Now, you can see Zexel and Arc 5 were very similar in episode number, but we know they were all 3 years and if we say that you're in the 148 to 150-ish mark, why is 148? plus 852 and that's where I honestly think that we are going to end Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns so yeah well what do you reckon about that I think it's I think that like you just you just hit the nail like I think that's how Reigns is going to end off because let's say this right let's say Reigns is a success which most likely will happen and you know you're building up these characters and they do something fancy for that 148th episode now, what do you think is going to be in that episode? Do you think they're going to do some sort of callbacks like GX does? You know, five minutes of the episode, they do something with the Tim. They sort of reference the original timeline, and then they move on to Arc 5 along with Zexel. Or do you think it's just going to be what they did with Arc 5's ending, where they sort of got the monsters and inspired them from each other's series? I, you know, that's a very, very interesting point where, okay, let's talk about the 777th celebration. Now, the opening was met with a very mixed response. I personally liked it. However, I don't appreciate the visuals. I think that they could have done better and it's a bit lazy. However, the nostalgia did kick in. So we do know that they will go all out when they do or reach a milestone. And I think that when they reach the 1000th episode or they reach such a milestone, they will celebrate it. Now, personally, and this is my theory right now, three years down the line, you could comment down below and tell me if I was wrong or if I was right or if I was completely out of, out of touch. I honestly believe that they're going to weave in every single main character or they're going to try and reference them in that 1000th episode. Or I think that what's going to happen is that on the 999th episode is when they might finish and on the 1000th episode or they might finish on the 998th and and 999 and 1000th might be a little special which encompasses all of the generations for Yu-Gi-Oh! 
and that is just my personal fan theory i kind of want that but i do think they're going to reference them due to the fact that they're going to be working with the internet the whole cyberspace virtual reality so therefore they have all the opportunity to kind of transcend the whole uh, constraints that is canon or timeline etc because of the fact that you are essentially immortal on the internet so they can reference kaiba they can reference yugi the pharaoh Jaden, all of them every single one of them i think that this is going to be a reference point to the characters in that final episode what is your personal theory i agree with you on that be- simply because they could do this do something similar to dsod where they have an hologram version of a tim that's exactly, what kaiba yeah. did in dsod so you do this you do yusaku something like that there's a bug in the ai there's a bug in the cybers the link brains ai world which sort of corrupts yusaku's mind he goes into this dream state you do that and you get all the characters from each other's series and you just fit them in there and bam he wakes up from the dream you can do something like that just something that doesn't really contradicts very uh contradict brains as well as the original story and timelines but still gets that nostalgia factor in for that 1000th episode that big milestone now let me kind of give you another outlandish theory of thought process now we know that Yu-Gi-Oh, the dark side of dimensions aired 20 years after the initial release of the manga which came out in 1996 the dark side of dimensions came out in 2016 so they kind of commemorate an anniversary a milestone a massive milestone now we know that Yu-Gi-Oh! Rain is probably going to last for three years, which is the formula that's been established from the last, well, not the last, but a couple of the installments for the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. It's 2017 currently. In three years, it's going to be 2020. The initial air date for the Japanese version for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters was April 2000. So in 2020, it's going to be the 20th anniversary for the anime. So what better way to end this anniversary or the last few episodes for the thousandth episode itself could lead up to another movie. Movies come out every couple of years, two years, but three years is very, very plausible in that sense. So the end of Reigns might coincide with the promotion of another movie, which can encompass all of them together. Now, the last one that kind of did this, which kind of tried to encompass and include all the other protagonists was none other than Bonds Beyond Time, which I know that you really, really enjoy. I think the fact that with this, the end can really justify a movie, the thousandth episode, and then you have a movie. And honestly, if Yu-Gi-Oh! then ends its anime run on that note, it would be the absolute perfect ending. So I want to support your reason on how there could be a movie within three years. Normally, NES and Gallup and all of them usually do a movie every four to five years. But the thing is that we had DSOD. It got one billion yen. It was a huge success inside of Japan as well as outside. They're currently, 4K Media is currently marketing in other areas as well as the Mexico region in the world. So the thing is that DSOD is a success. Them doing another movie is very plausible. And the thing is, knowing the fact that there's air airings right now for the sub versions in specific cinemas and theaters really does show the grasp and the actual reach of Yu-Gi-Oh! in that sense. One other thing I should mention is that Takahashi's involvement in that 20th year anniversary film that might be relating towards the 1000th episode for Yu-Gi-Oh! Varanes. So we know Duel Monster started in 1996, at least the manga portion. And then 20 years later, we got DSOD. So what I think is that Takahashi is going to have a huge involvement in that 1000th episode simply because Yu-Gi-Oh! is his baby. You look at his Instagram, he's doing a lot of stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh! Even though he stated that he's not very akin, he's not very used to drawing the other protagonist, he's still definitely going to have an involvement simply because it's the milestone. It is that goal, that pinnacle that every anime that basically anyone tries to reach in terms of media. So these are my thoughts on Takahashi's involvement in that 1000, that milestone episode for Yu-Gi-Oh! Varanes. Now let's not forget about the card game. The card game is now introducing a new mechanic, the Link mechanic, the Link format, which is of course going to correspond with Yu-Gi-Oh! Varanes. So the card game is going to go strong. Right now we have Maximum Crisis, which is the new booster box which is coming out in the TCG, but of course in the OCG we have Code of the Duelist which is yet to be released so right now please note down the time and date of this video we are calling it right now we are calling it to air and end on the 1000th episode so the final prediction that we're gonna end in so note this down and do let us know in the comment section three years down the line number one 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns is going to end on the cumulative 1000th episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is going to be episode 148 for Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. Number two, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns might then promote, its final episodes might promote a movie which might include all the other protagonists or at least a couple of the protagonists which may be Yuya and Yuma respectively due to the fact that Yugi, Jaden and Yusei all had their limelight so why not give these lot a movie for themselves? Their Bonds Beyond Time 2.0 and number three the final episodes might also just include a lot of references to each of the protagonists and monsters for each of the respective series. So Yugi and Dark Magician, Jaden and Neos, and of course Yusei and his Stardust Dragon, etc. along them lines. So these are the three predictions that I'm going to leave you with. Make sure you check out BYG Aigami. There's a Facebook page which is about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns fan page. And with that being said, make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe with your dual disc to myself, to BYG Aigami, to the Facebook page as well as following the Twitter page. You may now exit Dimsy's domain. Thank you and goodbye.